Did you know that one of Hollywood brightest stars, Sofia Vergara, is not only talented actress, but she's also a thyroid cancer survivor. Thyroid cancer, as you can see, affects hormone production, disrupts metabolism, and can even spread to vital organs if left untreated. But what makes it even more concerning, women are three times more likely to be diagnosed with thyroid cancer than men. I'm Christina Baer. Welcome to today's Business Minute. Emerging biotech hedge fund, Evergrow Biohealthcare Capital. We invest mainly in young growth biotech company, company that have their lead drug in the preclinical stage or early product stage because they have much more growth potential. There are new uh, gene therapy being approved, gene editing drug, and then also innovative drug to treat obesity, to treat diabetes, to treat liver condition, and also many novel or new drugs to treat cancer. Now, by investing in company that are at the forefront of such innovation, we support the cost that will continue to deliver the hope and new drug and new technology that ultimately improve the quality of life for the patient. In our binary event forecasting strategy, we have a very high success rate, over 80% success rate. And by utilizing that, we, we get able to position out properly and, and take advantage of those opportunities. Within six months, we have an over 40% uh, return. So in the coming year, you know, there's a chance of even grow, grow up to multiple year fold in a very short time. Welcome to our 51st Open Mic webinar. For this week, Dr. Van Nguyen, who is a cardiologist, a medical director. He's also chairman of our Medical and Scientific Advisory Committee. He's presenting this week on the topic of thyroid cancer. Dr. Van first went into the statistic of thyroid cancer, even though it's a low prevalence uh, condition, but it can uh, deliver devastating impact to the patient and patient family. Dr. Van first showed us a picture of the thyroid gland and also discussed its importance of how uh, cancer in the thyroid gland can also spread to other areas of the body, like uh, down to with the throat and ultimately the chest. As you can see on the cartoon we have here, the thyroid gland is located in our neck area and it's actually a very important gland in our body even though it's so small but it's control our body metabolism and just like every other system in our body, organ system, it can also have cancerous growth. And as you can see here, the B, where the cancer is, can occur and it also can spread to the C area as well. Dr. Van discussed the different signs and symptoms of thyroid cancer um, that include an enlarged thyroid gland, a swollen lymph nodes, as well as a painful area in the neck. As you see here, the common symptoms, pain, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, persistent cough. But in my experience of um, 35 years as healthcare provider, a lot of times just can be, be presented as hoarseness. Dr. Van went into the diagnosis for thyroid cancer. Diagnosis will be physical exams such as uh, by your family doctor, by Dr. Pham, Dr. Lin, and then they will order blood tests and we evaluate the thyroid level and then follow by ultrasound imaging and ultimately find needle aspiration for diagnosis. But um, we also may need to be scanned to see whether the nodule is hot or cold by using nuclear scan. Other imaging tests are also being done for the diagnosis. We do radioactive iodine uptake so we can visualize how the thyroid gland is being utilized. Iodine, which is basic building block that the thyroid gland uses to make the thyroid hormone. Then we went into the treatment for thyroid cancer and mainstay treatment for thyroid cancer is surgery. Now, if the cancer is too big, we first need to shrink it by using a targeted uh, therapy or, or chemo radiation therapy to shrink it to a manageable size so that it can be surgically removed. Treatment outcome, so surgery, reactive iodine therapy, hormone therapy, external radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted drug therapy. Uh, generally, the prognosis is good for early stage, but poorer for advanced stage especially anaplastic thyroid cancer. And then to make sure that remaining cancer is completely being taken care of, we then uh, keep the patient radioactive iodine to radioactively heal the cancer cell. We discussed the different the new trend of treatment for thyroid cancer. New medical trends, you can see here, personalized medicine treatment uh, based on genetic profiling and then minimally invasive surgery. Now we have a new way of treatment called theragnostic, uh, using integrated therapy and diagnostic together. And then of course, the newest therapy is immunotherapy. We also discussed on way to improve the outcome for this condition and uh, like most cancer, it's uh, very important to have earlier diagnosis and early treatment to make sure that the cancer is being uh, successfully removed. Ways to improve diagnosis and treatment by enhanced genetic screening. In the future, we probably would have genetic typing ourselves, children, future children in the, such as embryo ready to be born or even before the two people you know join together. So we detect the group and the bride 
and then uh, determine what's the likelihood of genetic outcome. And then we also have early detection programs by screening based on their genetic makeup. And then we have patient education, awareness, if they have family history. And then of course, healthcare provider, we also been taught over and over to avoid radiation exposure as much as we can to avoid getting thyroid cancer. Much research therapy being developed right now to target therapy toward immunotherapy. We strongly believe that targeted therapy is the holy grail for thyroid cancer treatment. Uh, with targeted therapy, the efficacy will be much higher while reducing the toxicity. And this is an area where your investment in biotech company can deliver a blockbuster result or a drug that generate at least $1 billion in annual sales. And when that happens, your stock will increase multiple fold. Lastly, we discuss best a prospective company to invest in. And again, this company will be one that make a targeted therapy. We are also familiar with uh, several of those companies we've I've been following uh, them for many years since they were a little company to nowadays a uh, company that enjoy blockbuster medicine. But of course, those are just some companies. There are many other companies in the horizon as well. If you want to capture this uh, lucrative opportunity while investing in the innovation that deliver hope to the patient, but you either don't have time or you don't have the expertise, reach out to us, contact us. We'll schedule a call to see if we are the right fit for each other.